Hi everyone, welcome to Show Inspires Cook with Huma. Today I'm going to make fish karahi and for this recipe I'm taking about 9 to 10 tilapia fillets which I'm going to cut in cubes. We also need about 4 to 5 large tomatoes chopped, 1 medium to large onions finely chopped. Make sure that you chop them in bits. Um, we're also going to need about two tablespoons of coarsely grinded uh, cumin seeds and coriander seeds. We do not need it in the powder form. And we need about 15 to 20 fresh garlic cloves. Uh, again, we don't want it in the paste, but you can just chop them with knife roughly, like so. One tablespoon of lemon juice, one cup of chopped cilantro or green coriander, four to five green chilies. For spices, we need about one teaspoon of cayenne pe pepper powder, one to one and a half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, 10 to 12 whole black peppercorn, one teaspoon of garam masala powder, two teaspoons of dried kasuri methi fenugreek leaves and about 10 to 12 fresh bay leaves now um, these are fresh but i freeze them that's why it's kind of looking dark in color we also need about one and a half teaspoon of tomato paste uh, two and a half to three teaspoons of curry powder half teaspoon of ajwain or ms seeds half teaspoon of mustard seeds or methi dana now if you do not have these four ingredients available in your pantry you can skip it but if you do have them i will insist please add it in your ingredients because it really enhances the taste of this dish last but not least we need about three fourth cup of cooking oil over here as you can see i have uh, chopped or cut the fish fillets in uh, little cubes now you do not want to cut them in very small bits or do not want to leave them in very big chunks, just like so. And I'm going to add the turmeric powder on top of these fish cubes and half of the salt that I have taken to prepare our recipe. And I'm also going to add half of this curry powder and to sprinkle like so. And with the help of your hand, make sure that you coat these spices very well all over these tilapia cubes. Over here I have turned off my stove and preheated my non-stick non -stick cooking pan. Now I will suggest that please use non-stick pan at this stage of cooking a fish. Uh, otherwise your fish cubes will stick to the bottom of your pan and it's going to ruin your dish. Adding about four to five tablespoons of oil. Now make sure that your oil is pretty hot when adding those fish cubes in it. Gently add fish cubes in hot oil. Now, do not add all the cubes at once. You need to cook them in batches. Do not overcrowd your pan with fish cubes. Otherwise, it will break apart and it will become a hot mess for you. Uh, while you're cooking these fish cubes, make sure that you handle them very gently with the help of spoon or spatula because um, fish is like fish meat or fish is very delicate. It cooks pretty quick and it can break apart. Uh, so very light handed, you toss them around like so. We're going to cook these cubes probably four minutes each side. You don't have to cook fish um, for a very, very long period of time, so it's almost pretty much ready. I am moving those cubes around very gently and I'm trying not to touch them spatula, instead I'm moving the pan. 
यहाँ पे मैंने सारे फिश क्यूब्स को फ्राई करने के बाद एक अलग से पतीला लिया है मैंने स्टोव को ऑन करके इसको गरम किया है अब इसमें मैं डाल रही हूँ तकरीबन आधी पहली खाने का और इसमें हम लोग होने तक पकाएंगे इसको ब्राउन नहीं करना बस हल्का सा जो है ये जब गुलाबी होने लगी उस वक्त तक इसको फ्राई करना है At the same time, I'm going to add the coarsely grinded cumin seeds and coriander seeds. It's going to roast uh, pretty well while the onions are becoming translucent. Roughly, it's going to take probably about what, four to five minutes on high flame. You have to cook this dish on high flame. The onions have become translucent and I have added the chopped tomatoes, adding lemon juice, curry powder, anise seeds, a wine, mustard seeds, and tomato paste. Adding all the spices in there, beside the dried fenugreek leaves. I'm trying not to add it at this stage because if you add it now, it will darken the color of your gravy or your masala. I always add your dry fenugreek leaves toward the end of cooking your dish or recipe to avoid darkening um, the color of the food. Adding the chopped garlic. We're going to cook this masala or base until the juice from tomatoes uh, will become well absorbed and dry. There, you can see um, the moisture from tomatoes is pretty much gone. And you can see the oil is bubbling around the pan, so it's, masala is ready. Now I'm adding the dry fenugreek leaves at this stage, adding green peppers. I'm going to cook it for another three to four minutes on high flame. Again, I'm insisting cook this dish or recipe on high flame. All right, now I'm going to add those put fish fish cubes in this gravy. Make sure that you're tossing and coating the fish cubes very light handed and gently with the help of spoon or spatula because you do not want to break apart fish cubes. Go ahead and add chopped cilantro on top as well. Now I'm adding some uh, crushed chili flakes on top. If you like your food really spicy, uh, you can go ahead and add it, otherwise just skip it. This is optional. Alrighty, now our fish karai is ready and uh, thanks to my sister Zara, I have learned this recipe from her. You can serve this dish with naan, chapati, paratha or clean white basmati rice. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe my channel.